This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke himself, letting you know you need to check out the website, chrismonroestl.com. Got some brand new arrivals, male and female t-shirts. If everyone is thinking alike, then someone is not thinking. chrismonroestl.com. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I got a question for you. Is President Obama more angry at Donald J. Trump than he is at the Orlando terrorist that shot up that nightclub? Now that's a good question, and I want you to take a look at this short video, and my commentary is coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. Charge. After Donald Trump called for expanding his Muslim ban, President Obama lashing out today like never before. Where does this stop? Are we going to start treating all Muslim Americans differently? A speech billed as an update on the fight against ISIS turned into a tirade against Trump. The president didn't hide the fact that Trump is getting under his skin, citing Trump's digs at Mr. Obama for refusing to talk about radical Islam. Islamic radicalism, and that's a very, very important term, a term that the president refuses to use. The president answering. It's a political talking point. And if we fall into the trap of painting all Muslims with a broad brush and, imp and imply that we are at war with an entire religion, then we are doing the terrorist work for them. The sharp rebuke coming at almost the same time as Hillary Clinton delivered her own shots today, at times sounding like they were reading from the same script. So there's no magic to the phrase radical Islam. Is Donald Trump suggesting that there are magic words that once uttered will stop terrorists from coming after us? Clinton also defending her former boss after this Trump suggestion about the president's reaction to the Orlando attack. Well, there are a lot of people that think maybe he doesn't want to get it. A lot of people think maybe he doesn't want to know about it. He went on TV and suggested that President Obama is on the side of the terrorists. The tag team, a preview of the onslaught Trump is facing in the fall. Having them on the same side, on the same team, and very much in sync in terms of messaging gives the Democratic side a one-two punch. Kristen Welker, NBC News, the White House. All right, all right, all right, and that's how they do it. Do you agree with what President Obama is saying? That the words don't make any difference? Or do you agree with Donald Trump that he said the words make all the difference. I think words do make a difference and it's not just about the words, it's about the action. Now I've been paying attention to this and I'm saying that, you know, President Obama has a lot of tough talking points, but I'm looking for the action. We have a sitting president that can do something about things that's not taking action. You know, people may love Obama and feel like he can never do no wrong, but he's wrong on this issue, completely wrong not just with the words, with the action or lack thereof. They're coddling and making it sound like, oh, we're gonna just love this group. It's not about the group. He's not even mad at the terrorists. He's mad at Donald J. Trump, in my opinion, but he didn't show any anger toward the actual shooter in Orlando or any of the terrorists that have actually been killing Americans. Why is that? Have you seen that? Are you seeing the same thing I'm seeing? Or is it just me seeing uh, my biased view? I don't have a biased view, I'm seeing reality. That's why I am Mr. I Stay Woke. And that's why I wanna ask you, what do you think about this? Do you believe that the Hillary Obama one-two punch is working? And don't forget, Hillary Clinton has Bill Clinton in the, in the wings waiting. He's ready to come up and start his attacks. Then they're gonna have Bernie Sanders coming up too sooner or later, starting his attacks. Then Elizabeth Warren, Pocahontas, she already started her attacks. So he gotta fight five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 15 people in his own party too. Does Donald Trump really have a chance? That's just a question for you. Can he beat all these people like he beat all those GOP candidates? I want to know what you think about this. Leave your smart comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow me on all social media, including Snapchat. That's right, Snapchat Game Strong at Chris Monroe STL. Visit my website, ChrisMonroeSTL.com. Do what you do, be who you be, and I'm going to see you before you see me.
What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I got a question for you. Do you understand racism? Do you understand all of the elements that make up racism in America against African American people? I got a book just for you. Check it out. Racism, Understanding the Basics. In this book, I break down all of the basic fundamentals of racism in America. Many believe that racism is simply name calling and threats to an individual or group. It goes much deeper than that. You may realize that this is a real problem in America and probably even the world. Check out my book, Racism, Understanding the Basics. You can get it at bit.ly forward slash I stay woke book. After reading this book, you will have another perspective on how blacks need to take a different posture going forward if we ever want to have real progress. Check it out for yourself. Bit.ly forward slash I stay woke book. Do what you do. And you know what else? I'm going to see you before you see me.